Hey, it's Justice with your A1 Extra presented by Westminster Canterbury. Mid-October means college basketball season is just a few weeks away. Our guy Wayne Epps has been covering the VCU Rams closely and had a look at the Rams' recent black and gold game. Here's Wayne. There's a lot of questions how to answer this year. Uh, also questions because uh, there's so much roster turnover, which is kind of the norm. Uh, so now they brought in seven newcomers this year, which is the most since Coach McElroy's first year at VCU in 2017-18. So it's a lot of new faces, mixing with some, um, some stalwarts who are back, like Ace Baldwin Jr., uh, the point guard, and, and Jay Nunn, who's now a sophomore and a, and a two guard. And so, you know, th this past Saturday at the Black and Gold game, their annual uh, inter-squad scrimmage was kind of our first public look at this this new, you know, amalgamation of players. I, I, I was impressed. Um, you know, one, one thing, uh, Mike Rose has mentioned uh, throughout this uh, preseason that he feels like this team was the deepest team he's had and now his six years uh, back at VCU as head coach, and you kind of saw the makings of that uh, during a black and gold game. But one of the highlights was one of the newcomers in um, Brandon Johns Jr. Uh, was a transfer forward from Michigan. He's a big guy, you know, like about 6'8", 240, um, but, he's, but he's very uh, mobile um, and very versatile. And then the most impressive uh, uh, returner, I think, was uh, Jalen Deloach, who's now a sophomore. Um, played limited minutes in the front court as a freshman, but now he's VCU's lone returning front court player. Um, and should uh, you know, probably put himself in position to be uh, VCU starting um, five or sort of starting center heading into this winter. Um, and he led all players with 18 points um, this past Saturday. And the big thing that's, that's kind of held them back, uh, particularly last year, is, is offensively. Um, VCU throughout uh, Mike Rose's tenure, and obviously even before then, has been uh, known for his defense. And the defense has been among the best in the country you know, throughout Rose's tenure as well. Um, but the offense, particularly last year, really struggled, and that was kind of an Achilles heel for, for the team last year. But uh, you know, I think it was encouraging seeing that they have multiple guys who, who can shoot the three, uh, which will help with their overall you know, offensive numbers. All right, that's it. Make sure you log on to Richmond.com for more reporting and stories of Richmond and Central Virginia. And remember to follow along on socials at RTD News. We'll talk to you next week for another A1 Extra brought to you by Westminster Canterbury.